If you are here because you like to listen to original short stories, you're in the right place. If you're here because you like to improve your reading skills by reading along to the words on the screen while I read them aloud, you're in the right place. And if you're here to try and improve your English through stories, you are in the right place. I'll be reading an original story today called Courage at Horse Camp. But before we begin, my name is Tina. I'm a teacher, a writer, and a librarian, and I originally from Michigan, but I live in Florida now. And I have a passion for helping people to learn and become lifelong learners. So I'm glad you're here. Um, if you are interested in getting a printout of the story with comprehension questions, I have a package of printouts that are available in my store. And you can go to the description box below to get that. So Without further ado, um, I will be reading the story, but keep in mind that if you have any questions about anything I'm reading or comments or suggestions, or, or if you just want to talk to each other in the comments, I would love to make this a community where everyone feels comfortable um, with learning and for learning from each other. <laughs> and I hope you enjoy the story. Here we go. Courage at Horse Camp. May volunteered at a special camp for children. It was a crisp autumn day when she arrived, feeling excited but a little nervous. May was always eager to help, but this was her first time at this camp. The children at the camp had a unique opportunity today. They were going to ride horses. May didn't know anything about horses, but she was determined to make an effort to learn and help the children. As the children gathered around the stable, some of them looked a bit scared. May smiled warmly and said, don't worry, we're going to learn together. It's okay if we don't know everything right away. We will make an effort to learn from others today. May watched as the experienced horse trainers showed the children how to approach the horses calmly. She paid close attention, taking mental notes. When it was her turn to help, she guided a young boy named Sam to a gentle brown horse. Sam was nervous, but May knelt beside him and said, Remember, it's okay to be scared. We are learning together. If we fall, we get back up and try again. Sam nodded and took a deep breath. With May's encouragement, he reached out and patted the horse. May could see the joy in Sam's eyes when he finally sat on the horse's back. Throughout the day, May continued to help the children. She learned from the horse trainers, and the children learned from her. They all made mistakes, but they laughed and tried again. May shared a Japanese proverb with them. Fall down seven times, 
get up eight. By the end of the day, May felt proud. She had made an effort to learn from others and help the children feel confident around the horses. As they left the stable, May told the children, remember, it's okay to fail. Every mistake is a chance to learn. Let's keep making an effort to learn from others every day. The children thanked May for her help. May smiled, knowing that she had not only taught them an important lesson, but had also learned so much from the experience herself. That's the end of the story. And again, I want to encourage you to read the story again at least one more time and make sure that you understand everything in the story. So the printouts would help with that because there are questions to check your knowledge. So I encourage you to click on the link in the description box below and to come back next week for the third installment of the Learning with Tina podcast. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.